Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to upgrade, and in this case, replace the battery because it's defective, on this HP Envy X360, quote, convertible PC, better known as a two-in-one laptop. It's called a two-in-one because it folds over. Yay? Right, okay. So in this case, the battery is defective uh, and we need to replace it. Now, there are usually four little pads here uh, but they've come off, which is convenient because we have to pull them off anyway. So uh, let's get to disassembling this and ordering the battery. So for those of you who have uh, seen the channel before, you know that I have a proper workbench, but I'm assuming you don't, which is why we're doing this on a kitchen table with a couple of soft tea towels. Now, in this particular case, uh, you, you are gonna need some specialized tools, which is unfortunate because normally, and with modern, well, more newer machines, they don't use Torx anymore. Well, not very often except Apple. But uh, in this case, they are using a Torx and it's this is a Torx number five. So a number five Torx, so you pop these out. Pro tip when you pull these out, lay them out in the order in which they came out in the unlikely event that they're actually different. And just a standard very small green handle Phillips. If you don't have the proper tools, and most of you won't, just use a, an old credit card. I'm using an old Marriott card here, and just pry this guy up. I like starting from a corner. It's usually the easiest place to go. Uh, a lot of these units will have a pry point, but this one does not. Okay, this doesn't want to uh, come out with a card, which is a bit unusual, but uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna use a little slotted screwdriver to pry this up a bit. I might actually cause some damage, but oh well. It's an old laptop and I just wanna keep it out of the landfill. You can do this, by the way. This looks may look challenging, it is not. Take your credit card and just run it along the edges to get it to pop out. There we go. Well, there's no mystery that that battery is toast. Uh, it may be difficult to see, but it's actually swollen. So yeah, that battery has to go. Now, a couple of things. While you've got this apart, blow that fan out. That is uh, the uh, CPU fan. The CPU is here, it goes through the heat pipe. Blow that out. If you don't have some compressed air, and I do, just take it outside and blow on it. I'm not gonna do it in here because I don't want to get uh, stuff all over the house. That is your M.2 solid state drive which you could also change if you wanted. And under here, no doubt, is the memory. I just want to change the battery, so. And like two of the screws holding the back cover on, the battery is screwed down with a number of small head Phillips screws. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. Uh, and to do that, uh, use your thumbs and just pry equally from the sides and it will just pop out. There you go. There we go. That's the part we need to order and replace. Because this is so swollen, I don't even want this around. This needs to be properly disposed of. Lithium ion creates its own oxygen, so you can't smother this if it does catch fire. So you make sure that this is kept outside of your house. Maybe you can see there that it's swollen. Um, do not leave this in your house, get it out. And then of course you just reverse the process with the battery that you've bought. And uh, the battery I bought was this one here. By the way, we have no affiliation with HP or Dr. Battery or Amazon. All of this has been unpaid, so please give us a big like if you found it useful. Now this battery cost us about $50 Canadian, so for easy math, let's say, what, 35 US. Uh, we could have got it a little cheaper, but uh, this was in stock and we wanted to get it the next day. So that's what we did. And you can see this came with the cable and all you had to do is Plug the cable back in and screw the screws back in. You're on your way. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. 
Subscribes also always appreciated. And if you'd like to get a hold of us, you can at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.